Hello everyone and welcome to Usitility. Today we are going to see how to play Raid Shadow Legends on PC using the brand new Bluestacks 5, that is designed for blazing fast speed and high octane action. We will be able to easily download and install Raid Shadow Legends and enjoy the game on our Windows PC with keyboard, mouse and big screen thanks to Bluestacks 5, which is the Android emulator that we recommend to play Raid Shadow Legends. So without further ado, let's get to it. First of all buddies, to get started we have to launch our main browser. We have here the one we prefer. Let's go to this URL that I'm highlighting in green color. There you are seeing it on the PC screen. You don't need to type this URL, simply because I provided a link in the description of this video and the first main comment. We landed on this page on the website of Usitility, where we find here a precise demonstration on the best way to download Raid Shadow Legends on PC. We scroll lower a tad and click on the download game on PC button. Once we click on that link, we arrive here on the website of Bluestacks. No panic, it is just the Android emulator that we are going to run to play Raid Shadow Legends on the PC. It is now obvious that we get a number of advantages of running this emulator. Now we are on the way to start downloading the Raid Shadow Legends by clicking on the button play on Bluestacks that I have marked in green color. Next step is clicking on the button and the download starts and ends immediately. Here it is. Here is located the download. It is a file to execute. What we are going to do now is to launch the installer. OK, then we have to click on the file. If we are on Windows 10 it will have asked us for permission to allow changes to the device. We have clicked yes. I minimize the web browser to find the installer much better. The installer is quite simple. It consists of two possibilities. Install and setup path. I will make it clear what setup path truly does. We merely simply click on it. And therefore we see that we, they got here the path where the emulator can be installed. If we wish to vary this folder we must click on that, browse, button. So we decide on another directory and install the emulator exactly where we desire. To keep it simple, just leave it as it is. Then, I click on back. And I just click on install. Now, there it is. The install begins and it is going to proceed with the download of all these MB that happens to be shown on the screen. The time you save it on your machine, it is likely to be a little bit more or less megabytes. The data transfer speed could go faster or slower, determined by your connection and depending on the speed capacity of the emulator web servers. Right away they're working extremely fast. The download is finished, and now it proceeds with the installation phase. With Bluestacks 5 you can even reduce RAM usage with a single click especially useful if you ever face performance-related problems. In addition, you can activate Eco Mode to enjoy 87% reduced CPU usage, 97% reduced GPU usage and easier multitasking. As you can see, Bluestacks 5 is built to provide stability and performance during long gaming sessions. The installation has already finished for me. Now, the emulator has actually been started automatically. As you can see, at the bottom of the screen, we have a progress bar that will fill up and once it comes to the ending, the emulator can be started for the first time. In fact the emulator has been launched. Here it is for the very first time. Before we continue, as now you can see, it has created two app icons there on the computer desktop. The Bluestacks and Bluestacks Multi Instance. Note that the Bluestacks app icon will be one we are concerned with. The moment we want to operate Raid Shadow Legends on our desktop or laptop, we double-click on that software icon and run the emulator. The Bluestacks multi-instance icon allows you to launch multiple emulator instances. And with Bluestacks 5's new improved multi-instance manager in eco mode, players can run more game instances faster and with less lag. Let's conduct the next phase, which is a must, and which is to visit the Google Play Store. And we will just click on Play Store. As you can see the Google Play is presented. Right here we have to sign in. Now once we are here, we must absolutely execute this next phase that is mandatory. So we mouse click on, sign in. Now it announces, checking info. It could sometimes get stuck in, checking info, that's why it isn't going to continue. If so, you may try to log in in after a number of hours and it will surely quite likely be sorted out. Now we shall insert our username and password. The email really needs to be a Gmail email as well as its associated password. For example you make use of the same email address you use right now in your YouTube account. Therefore I will enter my information and I'll revisit as soon as I have completed it. That's it, info entered. Here is Google welcoming us and supplying us their terms of service. 
We would accept all of them by just clicking on, I agree. Next, it allow us to save to the Google Cloud. You can leave it selected and this will create a backup of the files on that device to Google Drive. I am not going to select it, you do what you want. We click on accept. Google Play is started without need to open it manually and automatically. To install the application, we would need to browse the emulator desktop for Android by simply clicking this icon designated green colored. Now that we are discovering the desktop of that emulator, we see that we find there the install application option. We click on this button. Here we access to the game app. So let's then click here on the install link that I'm just highlighting now in green. And it will initiate the software installation. Now it will download and install the game app. It can take a while or it could also be amazingly quickly. It all relies on our connection to the internet. It has actually completed setting up. Now, let's go to the emulator desktop by simply clicking this particular button that I am showing in green, that allows you to launch Raid Shadow Legends for the very first time. We are currently on the emulator desktop, and we're going to simply click the fresh Raid Shadow Legends software icon which has been provided. The game app is launched for the first time. Here we end up with it. I could mouse click anywhere on the screen and also make use of the keyboard. I will talk about the volume level of that emulator. It is here. We use the icon of higher volume as well as the icon of lower volume. This manner we will not depend on the Microsoft Windows volume to increase or decrease the sound experience of the emulator. And to appreciate the experience to the maximum, we can turn on the large monitor, for which we have two options. This is simply the first one. We click on this app icon which I'm showing in green. And the display screen is maximized, coming with one border at the top, one on the right side and one at the bottom. If we aspire to launch the app in full screen, we select that software icon. And we might at present be experiencing and enjoying the game in full screen function. To escape the complete screen functionality, click the F11 key. And we'd at present play in normal screen setting. Now I am ready to clarify you the keys mapping and that is very useful. That step we will be able to operate the game application more easily. The first point is to click on this computer keyboard icon and there you will have the ability to complete the necessary configurations. Let me let the default configuration. However if you really want to change this, you can also achieve it with no problem. As you can see, the emulator is absolutely in our own language. On occasion it happens that the emulator is presented in the improper language, such as, in Chinese. And to set it up in the proper language we go here to the cogwheel. And right here inside of other settings, we just click the, language, drop down. We are able to select the language we wish, English, Mandarin, etc. As soon as the language is determined, we would save, the emulator would restart, and also the game, the next time we use it, will also be in the picked language. Now, you can find another point that we must take into account, and this is that we will get a message from Google reporting that a new device has been connected with our own Google account. It will check with us if we are the ones who have associated with that device. Indeed, we ought not get worried because the emulator is behaving like an Google Android device. And to identify which smartphone or tablet is being emulated, we come right here, to the cogwheel and we then click on it. Let's go here to the, model, selection. And there we realize that the emulator is emulating a Samsung cell phone. And so we're going to receive an email saying that a new Samsung device has been connected to our Google account. That's all guys, so much for the tutorial. I hope that you appreciated it, specifically that everyone found it interesting. If so, bring it a superb like, subscribe to my channel, and if you have comments, issues or suggestions, leave them in the comment field down below. Click on any of those online videos that are appearing on the computer screen and see you in the future online videos. Bye.